What's up? My name is Rock Bagarosh and that's my KTM stunt bike. KTM rider Rock Bagarash and his fresh built stunt bike. It's 2016 KTM 390 and looks so fresh. <laughs> yeah, Rock, uh, say me everything about this KTM because I don't know nothing about KTM. Yeah, it's actually not a lot of riders ride it, right? So it's not a typical bike that you would use for yeah, a stunt yeah, yeah. bike. So yeah, I'm I'm using the KTM bikes. That's the 390 CC 45 horsepower uh, KTM RC bike and it's uh, full fairing so I, I, I use it more for drifting because uh, this 390cc engine is uh, really good for drifting uh, and the 200cc I use more for technical tricks. So and this bike came from factory with a steel frame, yeah? Exactly, so stock frame is steel frame so I don't need to do any uh, adjustments on the frame. So yeah, I use a stock, stock frame for that. You are using Magura, yeah, for Rock Bagarash, fat bar. <laughs> for my cockpit, I'm using the handlebar, white handlebar uh, Magura. Uh, so it's my own signature handlebar. For the brake, I'm using the Magura HC1 13mm handbrake. Yeah. Uh, like I think a lot of other riders. And also a hydraulic clutch. I prefer more the cable one, more feeling, but yeah. uh, we, we are still testing the hydraulic one, so I like to test stuff to, to see if I can This do is Magura it's hydraulic. Also clutch. a Magura hydraulic clutch. You can, wow, awesome. you can find it on some uh, stock bikes at KTM. And the front brake is a stock one, just adjustable uh, brake lever. It's so it's a stock one, you didn't change nothing? Nothing, it's more than enough for stop. It's just the front disc is an uh, oversized disc. So it has more bite when you do the stock. Ah, uh, yes. So how much is bigger than the original? Uh, the stock one is around 230. Yeah, so it's quite small. Small, and then the power part is uh, around 320 Yeah, mm. like, like on uh, Kawasaki. Uh -huh, or okay. Like this. So this, this size is way better, I think. Yeah. So on the front one, we put a racing windshield. Um, that means we take out the lights and we just put the plastic on and we cut away the... Yeah, red. because it was very long, yeah? Very long, so for the legs no, no room, so we cut it away and that's the only modification. So we cut, take away the speedometer and yeah, there is a hole, so I don't like... You don't like to, to see speedometer in, in front? I mean, I don't, I don't need it, so yeah, we just take it away. I, I always say I need to feel the speed, not to see. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> if uh, some engine lights turn on or to, to see how... Yeah, for that I have uh, I have lights, but not on this one, yeah. So on the front one, like usually a lot of riders have, are the foot packs. So I can do some flatland tricks, not maybe with this bike, but with all my other bikes. I, I love the flatland. Uh, and suspension on the front suspension part, stock or you put some <coughs> This one is a prototype uh, tuned uh, stock suspension so I can adjust the rebound and uh, compression. So yeah, this one is let's say a racing suspension. Yeah. Okay, sounds <laughs> awesome and looks awesome. Thank you. Uh, uh, how about your seat? The rider seat is stock and the passenger seat we we tune it, so we cut a hole in it so I can stand in and also wheelie bar, made some full throttle stitching, some style up for it and yeah, it's a good support for my, uh, uh, when I do wheelies so I, I, I cannot slip down from the bike, similar to other uh, yeah. bikes. Yeah. Sub cage. <coughs> Sub cage is adjustable, it's, uh, it's my brand that we do for uh, the KTM bikes, so yeah, the new style of sub cages. How many positions it has? It's uh, unlimited because you can turn it in, in the 360? 360 degrees. And what is that? It sounds good. <laughs> that's and it looks good. <laughs> that's the so-called DJ Akrapovic. It's my favorite uh, exhaust. 
Yeah, it gives a really nice sound. It's really light and... I saw your movie when you put the stock exhaust and you put this one and then turn the engine Difference, again. right? Yeah, a huge <laughs> difference. And I mean, how about power? You Did you check how much uh, power? We didn't, we didn't measure, but they say uh, for the 390 RC you get around 3 to 4 horsepower more. Uh, so we, yeah, we, if you have like 45, uh, so it should be like 47, 48, something so like this. Yeah, yeah you, I think you should feel a difference. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, the sprocket. I'm running uh, 50, 54 sprocket on the back. Yeah. Uh, not so big, uh, because yeah, it's again more for speed and drifts. And for, on the 200 RC, I use a 60, uh, a 60 sprocket. So my tires, I'm running uh, Mita's tires, so-called Sport Force tires, normal road uh, tires. Uh, I like them because when you're drifting, they have a constant grip. They, even if they overheat, they still have enough grip. Ah, so it doesn't matter, it's cold or it's... Uh, uh, exactly, hot. yeah, exactly. So it's always uh, really, uh, yeah, stable. Mm, and they are really soft, which I, I, I like. Okay, so, yeah. how about your rear brake right. setup? Your rear setup. brake is stock one, yeah? Uh, this, this, on this bike I'm using this, the stock one and uh, for my handbrake I'm using here uh, a Brembo caliper on the other bikes I'm using Yota Fon. It's expensive, <laughs> uh, Brembo. Yeah, this is uh, our version so it has four brake pads in it so it, cooling, uh, it cools better and it bites better so it has a bit more uh, braking power. Okay, any special modifications on your engine like you put more power on uh, dyno or not? No, engine is totally stock. Also, mapping is stock. Only, only we program a little bit higher the idle. Yeah. Idle is a bit higher, uh, around 2,500 RPM. Okay. Uh, do you put extra oil in your engine? Sure. Yeah. On all my stunt bikes, is like 90% uh, of uh, in the engine the oil, because it's one cylinder and uh, yeah, it needs to have oil. Otherwise, it's gonna uh, be destroyed. Uh, no. Back to the tires, how pressure, pressure. you're using? Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to ask you if you don't want to know my yeah, right tire pressure. I would like to know that. Yeah, uh, for, for the recent seven years I was using 2.0, 1.5, 2.0 bar in my yeah. rear tire. Then I went to France to practice uh, with a French rider Thibaut. And he He's was filming under he, the camera. <laughs> Tebo, Tebo was uh, joking with me that I should go higher in the, uh, in the, in the pressure. So now I'm riding 3.0 and my tricks were, are m way faster, way bigger and it actually is a lot better. So I'm happy that he pushed me this way and also drifting is much easier when you have more pressure in it. And front is uh, 2.0 stock, uh, Yeah, like everybody probably using Probably it, uh, everyone using yeah, the bike. Around 2.0. Two. Two, two, yeah. Do you want to see something more about your bike? Uh, yeah. Then uh, what? Maybe we forget something. No. Ah, uh, crash cages. Of crash course. Cage. I forgot. To, I forgot to ask you about crash cages. Yeah, this is the, uh, the new developed crash cage that we did. Two points protected crash cage works perfectly. And yeah, that's basically how we protect my bike. And that's that's my setup for with uh, my 2016 uh, drift RC bike. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. <laughs> Da 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 da